All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. In this one, I wanted to ask the question, could Jason Panock actually be the starting free safety for the New York Jets at the start of the regular season? Okay. So far, we've heard nothing but great things surrounding Panock and his role with the team. Whether you want to talk about his peers, coaches, uh, teammates, even Jordan Whitehead talked a little bit about when they were both at Pitt together uh, back in college. I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, but look, Panock has been starting with the first team, albeit it is voluntary OTAs, but I do think it's uh, worth noting. I don't think Ulbrich and Sala at this point coming off a season where they lost a ton of games and the main reason why was the defense also putting up the 32nd ranked defense in football. I don't think they're going to be approaching the safety position uh, the same exact way as last year uh, or even looking at Jason and saying, you know what, uh, we could try it, I guess like no, like they had enough money to go get one free agency. And the Jets also had a lot of opportunities to draft the safety as well. Whether you want to talk about Daxon Hill, Kyle Hamilton, Nick Cross, Jaquan Brisker, the list goes on and on. Personally, I thought that this was a really deep class at the safety uh, position, but Joe Douglas passed. Every single time the Jets were on the clock, we went elsewhere. Okay, I mean, we could even look at the free, uh, the current free agent market. Jaquesky Tart is still out there. Landon Collins. Okay, there's some talent at the safety position. So, the two moves that the Jets made this offseason regarding that spot, the two major moves, signing Jordan Whitehead, which I absolutely love. This is a guy who I'm totally amped up for, both on and off the field. I mean, on the field, he could play either safety position. He could come down in the box and just make big time hits. Uh, he can make plays, obviously, in the passing game. Won a bunch of games with Tampa Bay. Knows what winning football looks like. Has gone up against Tom Brady, you know, every single day in practice. I mean, Jordan Whitehead is a, I think he's going to do so much uh, uh, again, on the field for the defense, but also off the field as far as implementing a winning culture, a winning attitude, and really helping uh, jumpstart this thing. Um, you know, and by thing, I mean the New York Jets culture in the right direction. Okay, really turning, really trying to right the ship here. So I love the, and by the way, it was a team friendly deal. So I love the Jordan Whitehead signing. And then, of course, the team also went out and re signed LaMarcus Joyner, who hardly played last season due to injury. Okay, so we're looking at the current roster. You know, we still have uh, still have Ashton Davis, Will Parks as well. Uh, but I think right now, if you and by the way, of course, Marcus May lost him to the New Orleans Saints. Joe Douglas allowed him to walk. So I think right now, Jordan Whitehead obviously is going to be one of the starters. Uh, but the other one, it's kind of up in the air. But based off of everything that we know right now surrounding Jason Panock, it definitely seems like he could be an option there. Okay, he has really good size, six foot, just over 200 pounds. He has really good strength, very good in the running game, good agility for his size. Um, you know, you take a look at what he did at the safety position last season in the final three games of the year. Uh, was he the best safety in football? No. Was he a top three guy? No. But man, I, I, I was impressed. You know, to, to, looking at all things considered, again, the worst defense in football, not a ton of help around him, him being a late round rookie, not even drafted as a safety, made a transition midway through the year, uh, went through the entire OTA process, training camp preseason as a cornerback, and to make that that transition, that positional change uh, on the fly, I think is really impressive, and, and, to, and to look how he did. So you, one would assume that with a full off season, where you're going to be working at safety, everything is laid out in front of you you are now a safety you're not going to be a corner that can maybe play safety no you, you are 100 a safety i i think all of that time all of the practice reps it's so valuable and i do think he's going to get a lot better over time uh, i could be looking at it uh, glass half full but at the same time I, just reading the tea leaves here reading what everybody has to say about him again peers all of his teammates the coaches Looking at how he performed last year, understanding that he has a full off season, you know, at his disposal to, to learn and get better, I think it's trending upwards. And I, I definitely feel like, in another point, for Joe Douglas to not add two definite starters at the safety position on the league's worst defense, I think could be telling on where this Jets organization stands with Jason Pinnock. Okay, another interesting point that, I mean, this is just my personal take, but I felt like. Panock's worst part of his game, like where he was at his weakest, was when he would get beat off the line. And this goes back to Pitt as well, but like when he would get beat off the line and he's now trying to catch up to the wide receiver and he has his back to the quarterback. At the safety position, you know, especially in this scheme, he's never really going to have to uh, be in a position where he's, you know, unless he comes up 
and then there's a play up the seam or something like that. But, you know, for the most part, his back is going to be uh, towards the end zone right uh it's not going to be this you know press man type of situation and all of a sudden he's beat off the line and now he's trying to play catch up so i think that's also a pretty underrated uh, aspect of a, of this positional change as well you're essentially neutralizing the worst part of his game you're just xing it right off the list okay so I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Where do you stand at the safety position? Do you want to see Jason Panock out there? Do you want to see him at least have a chance? I think preseason is going to be huge for that free safety spot. Again, Jordan Whitehead's going to be locking down one of the one of the positions, but the other one, it's it's up in the air, right? I feel like it could go in a bunch of different ways. Um, you know, especially if Panock does struggle a little bit in preseason. Uh, I could see Sala maybe wanting to go with the veteran option in LaMarcus Joyner, uh, who's more of a natural safety anyway, as opposed to a nickel corner, which was where he was kind of asked to play a lot uh, in his Raiders um, tenure. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.